Hello! In this fifth installment of TANA for Teams uh, video, we will be creating meetings, uh, working a bit on the work logs, making them more usable. I'm going to show you how you can combine tags for things that are more than just one thing. So have fun and uh, see you in a second. So to record meetings, I again would propose to start with the simple thing that could possibly work. Um, TANA is exceptionally great at building structures as you need them, as they emerge, and it doesn't, it doesn't really need to be too complicated to get some value. So a work meeting that you are logging could have a meeting tag, and we're going to create that. The meeting tag will need a couple of things. It will probably need a meeting date, and we are reusing the, uh, the, the date field that we have from the work log. It will need participants, and I would suggest you use the person instance that we have to select only persons, or at least suggest them. And you might have something like action items. And that is probably enough for now. So we'll close that. We have a date. The date is hidden by default. Uh, let's use today as a meeting. I'm in this meeting um, and maybe Stian was in this meeting and as an action item we would like to um, come up with come up with team structures and we'll tag this as a to-do and you can see that it actually would make sense to have this automatically tagged as to do. So let's go into configure again, go to action items and say, this really should be instances of to do's. Um, and you can see it, it's really simple to just go on. Let's create our next meeting, uh, next action item, um, drink more coffee and tag that as a to do. So that is enough. And we can, you now, you now can think about how you want to tag these. So what I find works really well uh, for the way we work is to actually tag on the, um, the day. And I like to use the uh, ISO 8601 format for dates uh, because it allows me to later on when I'm looking at meetings, I can, I know I have a work meeting or a team meeting on a specific date. That is something you could do. Um, the other thing, that you might want to do is configure the meeting tag, go into advanced option, build the title from fields, um, dollar name, dollar square brackets name, we'll put the uh, editable name here, and then you could have, for example, another field uh, that you pull out the date. I really don't like the, the way the date is formatted. Either way works. For now, we'll leave it like that. Let's look at the uh, work logs just a little bit more in detail. I recorded, I started to record TFT05 video work log here, uh, as we did last time. And it would be nice uh, to actually show who is doing that. And we record that information in the who field. So I can go in and configure the title. So I have multiple people that can do work and I still keep track on who is doing what. So I'm adding the dollar who comma here and you can see I'm recording this starting from 2015 to whatever time it will take now this is all fine but um, it gets kludgy and uh, you can't really see it here but in our uh, real team workspace if you have this it, there's a lot of information and in our company at least everybody has a short code so it would be great to just show the short code and that is actually much easier than you would expect to do so i'm going to people and um, you could add a short code to team members or to people in general i'm just going to add it uh, to the person tag um, i'm adding a new a field here called short just leave it like that and uh, then add the short codes for everybody that I know so mine is JCF 
I would assume that Joe Doe is JD and Stian would be SH. And I'm going to save that. Now, back to our work log. How do we get um, this one replaced with the short code? So how do we show that? That is actually really simple if you know how to do that. You go into the who tag and then you type dot short. It pulls out the uh, short code here. Now let's pretend that we are actually doing some work here. So I'm going to remove this sample node that I used to create the tag and say I have a meeting about um, meeting about Tana Tennis, which is happening soon. Uh, look loud for that uh, announce for an announcement about that. That is a meeting, and uh, the meeting is um, with today. That's already filled in. Great participants are me. Um, Stian, no, no, not Stian, but Brage, Bank, uh, I don't remember his last name, it doesn't matter, I'll tag him as a person, it's uh, Cortex Futura, Lucas Caberau, uh, and F, I think she's called Chapman, and uh, action items is maybe come up with a cool use case. Tag that as do, and uh, as the meeting goes on, um, I'm going to say some things, uh, some of my ideas. Uh, Brage might be coming up with other ideas, including a CRM, and uh, Lucas has thoughts about whatever thoughts while Eve is um, thinking about content, something like that. So you can just fill in meeting notes as you go. And you probably will have discovered that already. It's of course very easy to just come up with, with things that you also not want to note down like tasks or uh, we should talk if I can type talk to Stian about sponsorship maybe tag that as a task and we can be sure that all of these sponsor sponsorship we, we we can be sure that these things show up in the uh, in the correct um, why does it not show up ah it doesn't show up because it has no day status and that is actually really stupid we should have a default status for tasks so let's go into and just put in to do here like that. Um, we don't want any, we want any tasks to be to do's and uh, now it will show up here as a task. Wonderful. So the beauty really is you can make your notes wherever. And as we go on with, with all of these things, uh, let's also make that a, a to do or a task rather. You, you note down things, you know that you can drill down um, into that meeting. Now, if you're working in a team, you also might want to tag, this, uh, tag a work log item so that uh, the other people in your team know what you've been doing. Now, you could go in and um, just create a new item here, uh, did meeting, and fill out all things, uh, but I think a much better way of doing this and, and easier way is just use the super power of the super tag and tag this meeting as a work log item which will put in the start time and end time and uh, any other things tasks that you might work on so task is uh, something we haven't in here i can do that let's uh, define a new task 
Um, this is uh, the Tana Tennis Challenge. That is a task. The start time, end time would be now, probably. Insert current time, and we started uh, some five minutes ago, something like that. Uh, so now this shows up both as a meeting and as a work log. And if we look at, uh, we don't have a meeting, so you, let's uh, let's fix that, right? So really, really quick, create a search node, um, find all the tags with meetings in the Tana workspace, run that, show that as a table, you know, the drill. Uh, you might want to show the date, participant, action, item, start time, end time. Looks good to me for now. Uh, let's add a sort and a sort by name. Probably not that good, but by date and uh, descending. So the newest meetings are on top of that. These would be meetings. Um, let's move this to the Tana team video library so it can get out of here and then we can drag this into our sidebar meetings should probably have a nice icon um, why not a carousel horse and there you have all your meetings